I was kind of kind of aggro. You did way? More in a, you made me feel like some random hookup from Humber kind of way. I'm sorry. I guess I just got kind of lost in the moment for a second. Or are you thinking of Annalise? Well, you have every right to be pissed at her. At first she boots you off of the Supreme Court and now she's booting you off from the senior case? Are you trying to rile me up again? I want you to take all the outrage that you've been burying in sex and put it into the class action and for you to just quit and let her scare you away? That's not like you. Well, maybe it's the new me. Well, I don't want to marry that guy. I want to marry the badass social justice renegade. That's who you really are. Uh, it's my mom. Fingers crossed the date works. Hi, mom. Do we count our client's testimony for our side or the prosecution's? The prosecution's. The jury left that testimony believing our client knew the difference between right and wrong when he killed Reinhold. So you don't think I can come back from that? I think you know my answer by now. So what do the rest of you think? Because this moment right now is when the best lawyers prove their worth. Closing arguments begin in three hours. So let's discuss how we can still win this case. Really? You've already given up on me. No one in this room believes it. I could still win this. Professor Keating. Yes. I think you should move for a mistrial. You think I should throw in the towel? It's better than a guilty verdict. Here. During Nate Jr.'s cross, Cox referred to Senior as a crack dealer. But his arrest record show he was only arrested for marijuana. Lying about crimes he didn't commit is misconduct and grounds for a mistrial. I've already showed my hand to the state. I'd have to build a whole new defense, and who knows if our client can even survive another trial. But he is your face case. Losing this will hurt all of your class action appeals going forward. Okay. So let's take a vote. Who agrees with Mr. Maddox? That I should move for a mistrial. 